just a small haul for you today. Um, just a happy mail and two uh, packages that have come in and one of them I think is part two of our lawn fawn from Scrapbook Pal. So I thought that I would do a quick haul for you because I don't have any other content that I had planned to get up today anyway. Um, because I'm busy. <laughs> I'm working on cards and stuff and I hope to have quite a few uh, card shares for you later in the week, later this week and into next week. I'm making some progress. I made a big dent in my pile. So let's go ahead and get started with um, with the haul. It's sort of an unboxing. I haven't done anything but slice the uh, slice the packages open, or some of them anyway. One of them it looks like I forgot to cut open. Um, and this one um, is it's from eBay and I don't remember what it is. So <laughs> I must have been doing some late night bidding. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, all right. So, uh, oh, okay. It looks like it is the, um, it's from My Favorite Things. It's the Birdcage Dynamics. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a bit of a reflection going on. It's evening time. So, um, it's darker in here, but I can't turn the overhead light on because the glare off the desk would blind you. So I have in this direction is my kitchen, a little alcove here, and I have the light on in the kitchen. So you were just seeing the reflection of the item that I had on this corner of the desk <laughs> that I just took off the desk. So hopefully you can see a lot better. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, the uh, Birdcage Dynamics for My Favorite Things. Uh, just picked this up to work on a project for a customer. I forgot that I even had it. <laughs> this isn't gonna happen for a while, so. That's probably why I forgot about it. <clears throat> okay, get that out of the way. Next thing is Scrapbook Pal, which I definitely did mean to order. Now I did place, um, and I have a previous video, my first, uh, my first load of loot from the Lawn Fawn summer release. I did plan for a larger second load of loot uh, for my, uh, also for the release, I, I kind of broke it down into three different waves of stuff I was going to purchase in order of priority for the Lawn Fawn. But I ended up, I needed some double-sided tape and it was like a semi-emergency situation. Um, so I was going to order some double-sided tape from them anyway. So I figured while I was doing that, I might as well grab a couple of the Lawn Fawn pieces to help kind of just fill in uh, some of those holes until I hit the free shipping mark. The, now this ended up, normally I get my scrapbook pal within like a day or two. It comes really fast. This didn't uh, because it just, it was the holiday weekend. So I imagine um, stuff related to that, not a big deal. I just went to Joann's and bought my double sided tape. So this tape is like a, like a bonus for me right now. <laughs> so this is scrapbook pal. I've recently been approved as an affiliate for Scrapbook Pal, so I'll have my affiliate link down below if you're interested in checking out their website or making a purchase. If you'd use my link, I'd appreciate that um, because I get a little bit of a commission if you do that. And it, ma it makes it so that I can buy more stuff. <laughs> anyway, so um, we have tape. Let's see. Uh, I got uh, one eighth of an inch score tape from scrapbook pal i like generic double-sided tapes but i'm finding when it comes to the eighth of an inch this is the really thin stuff i'm i haven't found a single generic that i liked in the eighth of an inch they're all just so flimsy and difficult to use so for the eighth of an inch i'm going to skip to my my brand name score but for a quarter inch and anything beyond that my scrappy tape is fine i've tried um Gosh, I have some of the brand right here. From Hallmark Scrapbook, they have Couture Creations uh, brand. They're, you know, they're branded tape and that works just fine and everything but the eighth of an inch. The Scrapbook, uh, Scrapbook.com, their new double-sided tape. I think this is all the same thing. It's just repackaged depending on where you get it from. The quarter inch is great. The half an inch is great. Everything is great but the eighth of an inch. I have a very hard time with, oh, Elizabeth Crafts is the other one that I've tried um, for double-sided tape and the eighth of an inch. Brand name score tape is the way to go for the very, very thin stuff. Other than that, generics and you're fine. So that is what I, that is what I needed and that's what I ordered. Uh, prices on this, the scrappy tape, the generic, $3.49 and then, uh, I'm sorry, $3.49 for the brand score tape and then $2.99 for the scrappy tape. So these are fine. 
perfect. Uh, so let's see, and I kind of already forgot what else I got. Okay, so also from Scrapbook Pal, this is where we get into the Lawn Fawn to bump me over the order for the free shipping. I got the uh, Sweetest Flavor Stamps, the little stamp set here. Sorry, Glare, of course, which I didn't get from my first time, but I still want it because it works with the, here are the dies that go with that, and here are the, the dies that coordinate with the reveal wheel. It was something that I knew that I needed, but I, I passed, I passed it by the first time, so now I have it, so that's pretty exciting. Very cute. Um, prices, let's see, the stamps, $3.20. 320 on the dies and four dollars on the reveal wheel add-on very cool and last but not least from one one or for this entire order i got the village shops uh, stamp set and of course i got the coordinating dies for this as well i just thought this would be fun to make some interesting cards and this will work really well with some of my other stamp sets i really like sets scene building things so this will help with that and i have um I have a project in mind that I wanted to use these for. So you guys will see eventually. And this one also comes with some cute little signs that you can stamp. Oh, Glare, I'm so sorry. Some little signs that you can stamp in your shop windows. And let's see what we got for sentiments. Um, it's your birthday, enjoy the little things, treat yourself and let's go out. So you could just set up a nice little downtown scene. And look at the cute little ice cream shop. I have another ice cream shop stamp, but it's much larger. And I think it came from a magazine. It's very cute. <clears throat> uh, and then obviously the coordinating dies. I already showed you those. Nothing too special except that now they're putting them on, mounted on these little glue, glue dots instead of the tape. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So let's see. Uh, the stamps were $12 and the dies were $13.60. I'm holding it upside down for you. And out of camera. Look at how great I'm doing. <laughs> and there we are with that. And that is it for my Scrapbook Pal order just a little one again I needed the tape and I figured while I was placing the order um, I would just grab a couple of the lawn fawn things for my wish list so this is kind of like this is kind of like my lawn fawn order 1.5 <laughs> so look for part two coming uh, where, where I will have most of the rest of the stuff that I wanted to get for the lawn fawn release but um, right now we're just a couple of days away from rent being due so <laughs> um, I I've been uh, saving some of my giving myself bigger paychecks so that we can take care of our rent without issue next week we'll be in better shape next week okay moving on this is a happy meal and this is coming from maria who is in one of my craft exchange group exchange groups now the purpose to this exchange is for Craft, uh, card making supplies. So we're supposed to exchange things to to make cards with for people that are new to card making. Um, and look, she decorated, I'm gonna cover her address, but she decorated this envelope for me. Very fun. And let's have a look at what's in here. Uh, there's a plastic case filled with all sorts of goodies. Aw, and look at that. She decorated the front and it has my name on it. This is some kind of a paint pen. Very pretty, very thoughtful. What a nice little kit. So let's have a look at what we have in here. We've got some tissue paper, which of course I will reuse. We've got a nice little card and I will probably read that off camera. So I'll put that aside. Uh, we have, a s I think these are stickers. They feel like jelly stickers almost sort of doily stickers so pretty cool a sharpie can never have too many sharpies right this is a nice fine point sharpie i like sharpies we've got some duct tape brand washi i've actually never seen duct tape brand washi this is a fun little honeycomb pattern i like that we've got a couple of things of funky pom-pom ribbon we've got this nice ivory color at least i think it's ivory it's pretty poorly lit in here um, and then this cute little peach. These are really cute. I might have to use those soon. We've got a little packet of some ephemera. These are little Happy Mail pieces. Let's have a look. Oh, it says Happy Mail on the outside, but just a couple of just little ephemera pieces. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute. 
these little please to not bend pieces. Adorable. Too cute. Now I will, once I unpack this, I will set it all up nicely and take a photograph of all of these things and put them into the group um, to thank her, to make a post to thank her in the group. So um, I'll also post a, the picture on Instagram if you want to check there, if you want to see a little bit closer everything. Uh, it looks like from this baggie here we've got some crocheted flowers or it's a kind of a, a potpourri of flowers. We've got some little crocheted flowers here. Ooh, oh, look, they've got um, little foam uh, stickums on the back for easy use. That's pretty cool. Oop, look at me making a mess all set this here. We've got a couple of different flo uh, flowers. This one has a gem in it. She probably made these. These are amazing. Very pretty. Let's oh, we've got another roll of duct, duct tape washi. This one's kind of a herringbone metallic print. We've got, oh, look at this. We've got double-sided tape. <laughs> <laughs> this is um jo this is a Dollar Tree tape. I can you get I've never seen this at my Dollar Tree cuz this I mean if it really is just a dollar that's a really good price for uh oh I guess it's just 6 yards. So it's pretty comparable in price wise to the double sided tape they have at Joann's. I like the nice red color though. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree. I'm excited. This looks like some hairpins. Very cute, kind of some kind of a resin resin flower on some brass sort of vintagey looking bobby pins. Very pretty. My daughter will love those. We've got some embroidery floss. It's flecked with a little metallic gold in there. And then we have, oh, there's more stuff underneath. Oh, pretty. We've got a little package of gems. I keep meaning to do, I don't, I have very little for gems and stuff and I keep meaning to invest in some and I always forget. So this is an amazing start. There are some light pink in here. There's a variety of sizes and they're iridescent. And then we have this little uh, wrapped bundle, which I'm not sure what it is. So let's open it up and take a look. And here's more of that fl uh, embroidery floss that can be used. If I can get it to stop sticking to my nails. Oh, it looks like just some sweet little uh, note cards. And look at these little envelopes. They're so cute. <laughs> little note cards and envelopes. Very sweet. And let's see, what is this? These are some stickers and a really funky paper clip. I love my uh, paper clips for my planners and or planner and some nice metallic floral stickers and then this is perhaps the actual card stuff itself that was part of the giveaway so we have a couple of it looks like she sent along some layering pieces this pretty floral piece of cardstock with a floral print on it would make a nice frame for a scene and a couple of card bases, funky card bases. I don't know if she made these. I love this one. The black with the florals and the metallic. And more florals. This one is really nice. This is like a country floral, at least in my lighting. It looks like a, a peach color. Very pretty. And more florals here. And then of course some envelopes to go with them. So awesome. And that is it. And of course it all comes packaged in this really neat case that Maria has personalized for me. This, I wonder, do you think this would fit in my new tote? Let's bring it up here and see. This is my new tote that I just recently, my caddy, my organizer caddy that I just recently got from Joann's. And I'm wondering if it would fit into the, oh, it does. It will fit into this, um, oops, if I move my stuff out of the way, it would fit a little bit better, but it slides right into this large pocket right here at the top. So I'm thinking I could reuse this to hold the, um, my actual watercoloring stuff that I'm working on that because it's an open top. That way, if I get caught in the rain, those things will be protected. What a nice idea. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm very excited. I've, this is really nice. <laughs> 
awesome. What a lovely happy mail. So here are, um, let me get this out of the way. So again, this is uh, an exchange that we participated in it, for people who are newer to card making. Um, you kind of swap different kinds of supplies to make cards. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to have to work on some cards using these supplies and, and send Maria a thank you note for such a lovely and thoughtful happy mail. So that is what I have. Um, thanks very much for sticking around. Again, I will have my brand new affiliate links for Scrapbook Pal down below. If you're going to make a purchase or if you'd like to take a look, I'd appreciate it if you would use my link. Other than if you have any questions or anything, definitely let me know down below. All my social media links are down below. If you don't want to contact me through YouTube, that would be fine. That's what I got. You take care. Bye.